Sci-fi is the whole reason why I got into Godzilla. So if it wasn't for sci-fi, I wouldn't have the love that I do today. So I thank the people at sci-fi. Jordan Zacharin with Sci-Fi Wire here at the Hollywood premiere of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Not sure if any of the Titans are going to walk down the red carpet, but we are going to do the second best thing, talk to celebrities. Who are you wearing? You got it. Is this a custom piece? Oh, this? This whole thing? I know you're a fan of all the monsters. Which one do you think is the cutest of all the four monsters? My cutest Mothra because she's so beautiful and graceful and I think yeah, I don't know, I'm a big fan. Mothra. She'll like destroy anybody and anything that gets in her way, but she's like sweet. Oh, Mothra. Well, Mothra. I mean, Mothra's Mothra's the queen of cute. I feel like it's time that she really be able to throw down with the big boys, not just sort of flutter around and hover. A oh, Mothra, I mean, she's a sweetie. And plus she's got that bioluminescence. I mean, she glows. Do you get to know her on set? Oh yeah, she's a bitch. You know, throughout history, Godzilla has been a force of nature, a hero, a villain. What would you say this Godzilla, what would you say is, is he, does he have thoughts or is he just kind of a rampager? No, uh, I like to think that Godzilla is way more complicated and wise than we give him credit for. You know, you don't get to be thousands, maybe even millions of years old without gaining a certain amount of intelligence. Uh, so I like to think we get to know him a little bit more, uh, discover a little bit more about his history and possibly our deeper connections to him. Let's say you get the license to make your own Godzilla movie, right? You get any monster you want. What's your lineup? What's the battle lineup look like? Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. I feel like with today's animation, the way it could go right now, that could be a pretty bloody movie. So you want to do a crossover Godzilla vs. Pacific Rim? I mean, they're talking about kaijus like, like they got a problem with us, so like, what's good? Monarch would run through Pacific Rim. Right, you could have one of them as a pet, like a smaller one. Who would it be? No, I want full size. Okay. Oh yeah, it's got to be full size. <laughs> Rodan. Yeah, man. If he, and, if Rodan and I were friends, and I could just be like, hey, Rodan, I want to go get some veggie grill. He'd be like, hop on, and then I like ride his ass to the veggie grill, get myself a Santa Fe chicken. That's great. Good chicken. You have to be careful. He is volcanic. That's okay. I'm I'm warm thighed. It won't. I got I got notorious warm inner thighs, it won't burn me. I think Rodan, because I'm really scared of Rodan, and I think if I if I befriended him, we could get along. Probably Rodan. Why? <laughs> because that's a pretty dangerous guy, you know, and I think we would have some fun together. Mothra. Because she's like super, like, super dope, and she'll like destroy anybody and anything that gets in her way, but she's like sweet. If you could have any of the monsters as a pet, like a smaller version, which one would you want? No. <laughs> so dangerous. Godzilla attacks LA, do you survive? Hell yeah, if Godzilla's downtown, it'll take like 40 minutes to get to the valley. I'm out. Oh, I'm getting out of there. I'm Colonel Buster. <laughs> Am I here? Sure. Very little. I, don't, I would just enjoy the show, to be honest. That would be the happiest day of my life if Kaiju were discovered to be. Well, that was awesome. We did not get to talk to Mothra or the king himself, but it was still a lot of fun. Godzilla King of the Monsters stomps at the theaters on May 31st. You hear him now.